Welcome back to another episode of Falling With Guys. Still on the same uh, theme today. Going right down the line of teams and uh, betting their over and under. Uh, and we're going to look through the schedule and see are they going to uh, win versus the sports books. Uh, and guys, today we have the Dallas Cowboys right here. I do have the FanDuel sports book loaded up, locked and loaded right here. Got a couple other teams. We did these teams so far ahead of them. Uh, got all of their over and unders. Take a look. Too bad we can't do a parlay, man. We're going to spike them. But uh, Dallas Cowboys, what did we have here? Nine and a half wins. Over and under 10 wins for the Dallas Cowgirls. Not my team. I do not like them at all. Uh, I hate them. Despise them. Any fan that's a Dallas Cow, Cow boy, Cow girl, Cow regular Cow. You know, I'm just playing, but. You know, every year they always talk about Dallas Cowboys fans. Since I was in middle school, bro, they're going to win the Super Bowl. Everybody going to win the Super Bowl. They're going to win the Super Bowl. Super Bowl, Jerry Jones got all the money. Bro, y'all best player on the team is Michael Parsons. Dak Prescott washed. Y'all traded Ezekiel Elliott. He washed. Tony Pollard broke his leg. Y'all gave him a contract. He not, gonna, he not coming back to probably, I don't know what week. Um, y'all relying on this man that just broke his leg. And y'all going, come on, man. Um... Dak Prescott threw the most interceptions last season, and he missed about the most time out of all the quarterbacks last season. Um, y'all traded Amari Cooper. Y'all relying on CeeDee Lamb to be number one. Michael Gallup just do um, if he Y'all got Brandon Cooks. Y'all signed Stephon Gilmore. A couple older bets. I think y'all going to do something. Um, I don't know. Trayvon Diaz gets kind of burnt, kind of smoked here and there, but he makes up for his plays. So they don't capitalize on the plays that he does get burnt. So, you know, he doesn't get exposed for those. But he is a dog. Um, with that, all that being said, they still have a great defense. Michael Parsons is legit for real. Um, and it's just how the offense is. I do like CeeDee Lamb, but he's not the he's not that guy. He's like top 15, top 20 receivers. He's not top 10, top 5. So don't even put him in that consideration. Um, with that being said, let's hop right on into week one of the Dallas Cow Girls versus the New York Giants. Uh, I did actually pick the Cowboys in one of my parlay. I think I'm going to keep them here. But this is going to be a really close game. Nighttime, Sunday night. Everyone will be watching this game. I think a lot of people will bet the Cowboys. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the Giants will be a better team than a lot of people expect this season. They got Darren Waller, Barkley back. And it depends how Daniel Jones is. And it's that defense versus that offense. And uh, it depends how many times that defense can hold them out. But that boy, Jalen Hyatt, or Hyatt, or whoever on the Giants is going to run past Traymond Diggs. I'm just saying. Uh, it's a close game, bro. I, I'm going to go Giants. Even though I got Dallas Cowboys on my parlay. I have them on my parlay. I just I don't even know why I picked the Giants. On that. I, only, I mean, I don't even know why I picked Dallas. I don't even bet on Dallas, bro. If I lose my money, I'd be pissed. 0-1. I got y'all going 0-1. 0-2 versus the New York Jets. Actually, let's, let's flip the pop. This Cowboys going to win week one just because they Dallas Cowboys. It's going to be a tight game. They're playing in New York. So, 1-1. One one. They're going to lose to the Jets because Jets going to lose versus Bills. And they're not losing. They're not going to go 0-2. Um, they're going to be 2-1 and one here versus the Cardinals. 3-1. Uh, 3-2 and one. Three and two versus the 49ers. 3-3 three and three versus the Chargers. Uh, I would say 4-3 and three versus the Rams. But they could lose this game. They could lose this game here. But I still say 4-3 and three for Dallas. Uh, four and four once the Eagles play him again, and I do think that's uh Adam one and one, yeah. So um, they're gonna lose this game here um versus the Giants. They're gonna uh, flip flop matches, so that's like let's see, one and oh, one and one, two and one, three and one, three and two, three and three, four and three, four and four, four and five, losing record, five and five back to even. I think we beat them. I hope we beat them last time. This is my team. This is what we look forward to. This is Thanksgiving. We're going to blow that top off. So we're going to make them uh, 5-6, and 5-5 five and five here. 5-6, five and 5-7. and seven. I feel like they're going to lose to the Seahawks. 5-8. and eight. I don't think they're going to beat the Eagles. And they're going to have to start coming back, but they're not, bro. They got the Bills, Dolphins, Lions, and us at the towards the end of the year. With us after that thing for that Thanksgiving, if they're on that in a good uh standing and y'all kind of even, it's gonna kind of make or break y'all at that point. If we beat y'all that Thanksgiving, it's over for y'all, bro. Um, I think y'all was let's make sure one more time one and oh, one and one, two and one, three and one, three and two, 
three and three, four and three, four and four, four and five. They lose to the Giants this one. Five and five, five and six to us, five and seven the Seahawks, five and eight to Dallas. That's when they know it's like, oh, damn, we got to win every game. But they're not going to win these every game right here. So they're going to be stalemate with every everyone. They're going to lose this, be five and nine. Five and ten, they might win this. No, if they have five and ten, they're going to lose it, bro. Five and eleven, they might win this game. No, five and twelve, bro. On who I got Dallas Cowboys on. And that's not uh, unbiased. I'm not biased right now, bro. I'm really looking at the team and looking at the team they're playing, bro. They're not beating us twice. I know that. And if they do, whoop de doo They're not winning that nine game, bro. They're not beating the Lions. They're not beating the Seahawks. They're not beating the Lions. They might beat the Rams. They're not beating the Jets, bro. They're not beating the Giants twice, bro. They're not beating the Bills. They're not beating the Dolphins. That's for facts, bro. They're not winning 10 games. The closest they might win is nine. That's on the verge, but they're not winning 10 games. Like I said, I think the Giants going to do better than them this year. I think we might get do better than them. And I just counted the records. We beat them twice and beat every team lose. They'll be 5-12, and 12, bro. Lose to the Giants, Eagles twice, lose to the Giants, lose to us twice, which I don't think will happen. So they probably split Giants and us. So that's two more games, seven games. And they, you know, beat the Eagles a couple more times. They're not winning three. They're not winning 10 games this season. I had the Dallas Cowboys going under 10 games, and that's a plus, bro. They were just giving them games, bro. I wish we could parlay this bro. so bad, bro. We're alive. Spank them on that joint. Um, we just checked the Dallas Cowboys. I don't think they're winning 10 games. I got them winning five at the, like, and then nine at the most, bro. They're not winning 10 based on this schedule right here. Based on the roster, based on the moves they made. Based on Mike McCarthy. Uh, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, though. Uh, another episode down. We got the whole NFL to do. Um, we're doing over and unders on every team. Based on the FanDuel Sportsbook. Uh, we're doing more teams next week. We got next on the next video. Denver Broncos. Ooh. Uh, but, guys, we got more highlights, news, sport videos, uh, everything, whole nine yards. We're going to start doing local high school games as well in the area and putting some kids on the map. Just trying to build the brand, guys. So, make sure you stay tuned for those. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.